Logging and understanding your logging is absolutely critical in any computing service. Most people seem to reach for Elasticsearch cluster in their AWS account, or they use something like Splunk or uh, Datadog. And while those tools are great and have their advantages, I can't help but just discover in my experience that not many people know that you can do similar things in CloudWatch Insights. And I just want to quickly show you what you can do. So I, I've made a video or two about how to look around the log groups, but actually the, the way you query and log insights is quite different. So I'm just going to choose one of my toy applications. You, the first advantage of using uh, log insights compared to log group is that you can choose multiple log groups, which is useful if you work with, unfortunately, microservices. So you can sort of trace something with the AWS request ID. So this is probably your first experience of it, right? And you're, you're probably like, you know, whatever. So the first thing tip I can show you is that if you just go like use filter and then at message, and you can just basically do a grep that way. So I, I can go something like look for an error. That's, that's the syntax filter. What you want to look for like error. Okay. There hasn't been error for. And then the next thing to look out for is these ranges here. So you carefully want to mess around with the, the ranges because depending on how big the range is, depending how slow it's going to be. So here I can see that there has been some errors. That's basically how you use CloudWatch Insights, but it's actually when you, when you work with, um, with structured logs, it can auto discover those fields and make the queries faster. And not many people seem to, to see, to realize this. And I feel it can be just as quick and interesting as, as using, um, you know, commercial products. Um, and of course there's a lot more advantages. Like once you start using insights, you can obviously build better CloudWatch dashboards and, uh, you know, you can share them with your team and you, everything's kind of seamless with IM auth and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So let me just quickly show you the fields. So once it's sort of done a search query for you, it will actually tell you the percentage of what it dis it's discovered in the fields. Like for example, these at ones are the, are the um, AWS ones, but here you can see that like 16% of my logs have a level in it. You might be wondering what the other percentage of the, the, the logs are. In Lambda, there's always like a, like a report start and end. So these basically drown out normal level type stuff. But once you know this stuff, you can actually use these, um, these sort of auto discover things to make queries. Let me, just to, in the interest of time, let me just show you a couple of them and let me explain them. So here I'm looking, um, to filter if the fields visitor thing. So I have this code, a blog in the link, um, below where I, I set like a, a unique cookie so I can identify all of my users. And here I can then sort of check which logs have that filter in it and then basically um, put them in one hour bins so I can see over time how many users I've got. Like, you know, I had at seven o'clock, I had 49 users, at eight o'clock, I had 81 users and, and such and so forth. It's pretty powerful. Um, of course, Another cool thing about it is that you, you, there's like a visualization tab. This is something that uh, log groups doesn't have. Pretty cool, right? And let me just show you another query here. Uh, I'm filtering uh, by the structured log fields visitor. So some of my logs have a structured log. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. And here I'm basically looking for myself and seeing if which errors are around. So let's just remove the error so you can see all the things I've done. So basically um, I can, obviously I can just uh, adjust the time range and I can basically see what a particular user, i.e. me, was doing uh, over the last 12 hours, right? Um, and you can see it's because, yeah, the, the structure log has that visitor ID in there. Of course, operationally you can like, um, you know, check which responses were failures and things like this. It's, it's extremely powerful. So uh, hopefully that's just a, a taster 
of what you can do with Log Insights. I would say it's not as fast and the user experience is not nearly as good perhaps as um, as, as Elasticsearch. But, but you know, if you've ever run an Elasticsearch cluster, you know that it's, it's nothing but pain and suffering. Log Insights can suffice. It's a little bit slower. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's pretty good for my use cases at least. And I hope it will be for you. Please give the video a like. Thank you for watching.